everyone welcome to the coverage of 5th august very difficult day for pleasantries all i can ask is do you own hul some quick stats to start with bitcoin has crashed 13.5% down this is coming perhaps from japan the yen carry trade a lot of people probably borrowed cheap money from japan and invested in crypto and they have to return it in a hurry now nikkei on top of 10% fall last week fell 12 and a half percent today futures market is showing a bit of recovery no such respite for gift nifty down 3% tomorrow as per the forecasted price at 6:35 pm uk closed 2.75% down nasdaq is looking bad 5 and a half percent for nasdaq now among the gloom one funny thing i observed while the index was down 12% Japanese people have a one hour lunch between the stock market hours now this frenzy is leading to a meltdown in commodity prices copper down 10% brent is down as well at a weekly level it is touched 76 now natural gas down gold has crashed i was expecting gold to actually hold steady in these times this may again be because of yen carry trade i expect the first recovery to be in gold no surprises at this graph at all the top 3 sectors by market cap are the bottom performers today of course only personal and household products was up top 4 stocks hul godrej dabar colgate they were green in even today's market the power pack which was running the fastest fell most especially the oil stocks led by reliance it is not often to see reliance down 3.5% i think last time it was 4th june only when probably we saw such big cuts now as i record the video us markets have opened deep cuts look at the vix up 114% dow jones 2.7% down snp down 3.3% nasdaq 4.5% Nvidia down another 11 percent. At this rate, Nvidia may be back to billion dollar club soon. Apple, after the disclosure from Berkshire Hathaway that they sold 50 percent stocks, it is down 5 percent. Tesla 8 percent. Amazon 5 percent. Microsoft 4 percent. Meta 4.75 percent. These are super big cuts in the biggest stocks in the world. Looks like an ordinary day, but Nifty fell from here to start with. Fell, fell, fell. fell overall after 11 you can say it was a range but the damage was already done same for bank nifty the only green figure today dis buying 9156 crore worth of stocks were bought by dis even today that is because they got fresh money so they wanted to save the market perhaps there was one more green actually hul 1% up and now after opening apple 0.7% up i am working on a video right now the reason the video is not moving every 2 hours there is a new international crisis that i see surface i am just summarizing here what's happening japan obviously yen carry trade it's burning bangladesh we just saw a coup the prime minister was ousted she has taken asylum in india for now india the entire country is drowning in rains right now these are big rains there is political slugfest going on however unprecedented rains on top of unprecedented heat waves in the summers this was bound to happen i don't know why no one saw it the heat that we saw will lead to enormous amount of evaporation on land as well as in oceans and that water will come down in a hurry there is no rocket science here iran obviously is preparing for war saudi arabia is turning away from us israel is fighting i don't even know how many countries lebanon is firing missiles russia is helping right now some of the news say that russia planes have already landed in iran because us and uk have their warships positioned against lebanon china is bullying France is mocking everyone in the Olympics. UK is rioting. USA is printing. No surprises here. Probably the next lot of one trillion is already underway. Hardly any point talking about the numbers. Everything was down two to three percent. FIs. The overall sales were twenty two thousand crore, and they bought twelve thousand crores. That is resulting into minus ten thousand. DIs nearly bought everything that FI sold. SBI on top of not so good results today was a bad day. Five percent down. This is the largest public sector bank in the country. Reliance down four percent. Only place to hide was consumption stocks. GDRs are all down. Brent down. Rupee has weakened. It has crossed eighty four. Looking at these prices, seems that the U.S. market are a bit off from the opening lows. Most stocks hit their lows around twelve or one o'clock, and after that they consolidated or improved a bit. CHDFC Bank here. lens tcs atl sbi did not recover much however it stopped falling around this point itc bottom there infosys bottom there lnt hul was the only stock which opened at the lowest point of the day and then went up only nifty wix also was up 42% 
ऑल बैंक्स वर इन डिस्ट्रेस टूडे वॉल्यूम वर हाई नथिंग इज एट फिफ्टी टू वीक हाई सडनली अगेन ऑन अ रिलेटिव बेसिस इंडसेंट वॉज स्ट्रॉन्ग टूडे सो वॉज बैंक ऑफ बड़ौदा डिफेंस हैड नो डिफेंस टूडे एवरीथिंग डाउन जी आर एस सी हिट लोअर सर्किट वेरी अर्ली इन द डे सेम कोचिन शिप यार्ड इट वॉज अप एंड डाउन मजगांव डॉक Try to go up and down, but it closed nearly at the lowest point of the day. Metals fell in a heap. No one wants metal if we are talking about recession. Everything was down five to six percent. That too huge volumes. People just dumped the stocks and moved out. Metal stocks are suddenly in the middle of fifty-two week high lows. This is getting crazy in very quick time. I think no one wants to own railway stocks right now. The state of railways as well as the stocks is really in shambles right now. IT sectors today even Zomato was not spared 2.3 percent down 3 to 4 percent for big companies like TCS, Infosys, HCL, Wipro. Besides Zomato, everyone is approaching middle of the 52 week high low graphs. Power pack down. This does not mean much because the country will continue to increase the power requirement. The rates will also not come down. If there is a war in the Middle East, there could be a temporarily go- bump up in the crude prices. However, only one sector up. personal and household products telecom aerospace healthcare oil and gas they have all been down a lot 3 to 4 days only when they have been up in last 11 days on days like today people exit auto tata motors down 7% maruti 4% on days like today people buy alcohol not alcohol stocks most beverage stocks down no one wanted construction and engineering lnt rvnl irb nbcc deep cuts in all stocks that's despite the government announcing over the weekend 50000 crore worth of spending if construction stocks are not required then no one wants cement either it took adani enterprises nearly 10 sessions to go up this much and it fell 4% in one day when people are worried no one wants to shop rent down 4% recession is the worst time to buy home or upgrade homes so home building went down hotels and entertainment were impacted during slowdowns lic cracked 6% today investment banking actually benefits from crises like this because they were on a broker model they will get huge commissions on the sale and purchase of stocks options these days so most of these companies will actually give good results because of heightened volumes in the industry heavy machinery down but not that much in terms of percentages siemens abb 2 and 1/2 1 1/2 percent but they have already fallen a lot pharma primarily divis lab was down a lot otherwise this sector is the defensive sector i think it will go up soon real estate companies would be really worried right now slightest sniff of recession or job losses like the ones which have recently been announced in us they kill the real estate market in india especially the metro it cities telecom deep cuts textile and apparel everyone down including titan 2.5% specialty retailers everyone down now while my mind says fear and greed index fear should have increased today or since prices have fallen so much and ppg have become a bit reasonable that is why greed has actually increased and fear has reduced let me know your thoughts if you agree with this philosophy or it should be reverse nifty 50 46 stocks down four up the only stocks which were trying to take the index up were hul nestle hdfc life tata consumer next 50 just like nifty 46 stocks down four up marico dabar godrej colgate were up only fmcg or consumption pack was trending tall when markets fall like today it is also time to nibble into some stocks that you want to buy for long term so i bought little quantity of rec and bsc oil and ntpc i exited there is no chance of making money there but after i sold oil fell a lot overall combined no profit no loss kind of scenario from hindsight last week this decision to sell the defense pack at a 50000 loss was a bad decision last week if i had not sold last week then it would have been our first loss before ending i would share one specific scenario which i faced in the last fall a lot i just like now was stuck with lot of stocks in minus zone which means 10000 15000 1 lakh 2 lakh kind of losses in many many stocks but i was stuck without money at that time and i was reluctant to sell the ones at a loss many of you would be in this state where the stocks are in loss you want cash but you don't have cash and you can't buy more at this juncture the only thing i would say is the current stock price let's call it csp into quantity is the current value cv what you bought at is immaterial this is what you will get if you sell the stock now if you sell it maybe at loss you will be on x amount of money with x amount of money will you buy the same stock in same quantity that's the main decision if you think you would not buy this and buy something better maybe stock s2 then it is a better idea to sell this rescue the money and buy s2 so that s2 goes up first maybe at that stage you can 
exit from S2 and buy back stock one again if you are still convinced with the stock. Be in the stock which you think will go up first. At this stage, high beta stocks will fall most and go up most. So be in the high quality beta stocks if you want to tap into volatility. Also, the stocks that have fallen a lot or have not gone up much, don't think they are safe heavens. Even if a stock is at 52 week low, it is there for a reason. It may tank 10%, 20% on a bad day still. So this criteria does not hold. Small caps should be the last ones to buy at this stage even if you want to average down. The high quality ones may be different but that's a general philosophy. Mid caps have most high beta so the high quality ones may recover very quickly. Will it end tomorrow? No one knows. Will it end by end of this week? No one knows. How much nifty will fall before some stability comes? No one knows. I summarized the events in the beginning of the video. This is not an India phenomena. India phenomena the worst problem is that a lot of money will be wasted or spent again on rebuilding the infra which has been washed away by the rains. So significant amount of GDP will be spent in progress that will be not visible I don't know how to quantify it but it could be something like half percent of GDP maybe and it will take months and years to rebuild this. Stay alert, don't buy in a rush, don't buy in a bulk, it is okay to miss the bus one stop maybe and catch it the next day maybe next week but don't run out of ammunition if the fall gets worse. Know where you will get the money from. One word of caution, it will be Armageddon kind of situation if people decide to redeem mutual funds. Be prepared for that day. If bulk requests go for redemption, you will see Reliance and HDFC at minus 20%. Lower circuit may be revised minus 25% for that day. I personally hope that does not happen because mutual funds have already invested 10,000 crores net today. Not too much cash will be available with them for redemption. Thanks for watching. I'll see you tomorrow.